Hey guys, hope you had a good weekend. It's Monday morning. I'm gonna meet Justin at the first property. He's supposed to meet me at the house, but uh, <clears throat> per usual, you know, forget to set his alarm or whatever. I mean, I don't know, guys. That's something that seems like it's happening all the time with guys out here. Who knows if they're being honest or not, but yeah, it's always, yeah, it happens a lot. You know, for whatever reason, that never happened with me. But yeah, it just is what it is. So he's gonna meet me there. And we're gonna mow a few yards in Auburn, then head head back towards Opelika and finish out the day in Opelika. Yeah, I wanted him to meet me in my house, mainly because, of, like I said, we'd be finishing the day in Opelika and he could just leave from there. And we need to get to Ace at a good time. The first property we'll be mowing today uh, before they open at eight. So yeah, I'm hoping to be there maybe a little after seven. Go ahead and get it mowed and sprayed. You know, before cars start coming in they also like to take mowers and other pieces of equipment that they advertise for and put on the yard there so yeah obviously we'll make sure we get a mowed and spray beforehand before they you know get out there and, and get ready to do that so but anyway hey hope y'all had a great weekend i know uh, i know i did obviously made it to church uh, yesterday sunday morning and i ended up working out both uh, saturday and sunday that's something y'all got to be doing you stay in really good optimal health, uh, spiritually, mentally, physically, you know, all that, guys. So yeah, really important. And uh, I feel like it does me, uh, yeah, it does me good in terms of you know uh, mental and physical health. So if you're not doing that already, make sure you're starting to do that. Especially in the off season, I really like to work out a little harder in the off season. Try to increase my strength, get my strength back up from where it was the previous all season before I got busy and couldn't really work out as much as often as I was before but anyway uh <clears throat> as far as today guys yeah I got a little bit of everything today yeah be mowing I'm gonna be spraying a good bit they're giving a chance to rain tomorrow so a chance yeah it looks like a pretty much a washout tomorrow one to two inches of rain so yeah I'm gonna try to get my pre-emergent down a lot of these yards today if I can you know, before the rain comes in because you obviously you want that that pre-emergence to be watered into the soil you know especially you know for these properties that don't have irrigation systems it's just not good to have it sitting there for a long period of time without being watered in so a lot of times i'll try to schedule whenever i'm spraying pre-emergent putting out pre-emergence you know i'll try to make sure to do that before a good chance of rain the day before so yeah, uh, looks like it's gonna rain good tomorrow, so that'd be good. Get it watered in good. You know, and I should be doing quite a few yards today in terms of treatments. You know, we also got a good bit of mowing and I got one bush trimming job we'll be doing. So yeah, one particular yard, we'll be mowing it, getting the leaves up and yeah, trimming the bushes and then spraying it. Obviously I'll do the, the clean up and the bushes first and then we'll spray it last in that order. You're making some good money there. I think it's 200 and yeah, around 240 bucks for all those things. It's most a regular size yard, but uh, yeah, doing all those different you know services you know adds up. So yeah, makes some good money there. It's either 235 or 240. I can't remember. And he's gonna leave me some cash or whatever to pick up. So that's good. But, uh, but anyway, hey, listen, y'all. I uh, also got. Uh, I'm gonna get try to get some clips. I'll have the uh, mulching blades on my Laser Z today. And I'm gonna bring up some points in terms of differences whenever whenever you're using the high lifts and the mulching blades uh, for leaf cleanups, leaf removal, and <clears throat> different scenarios that the different blade types work best in. So we'll talk about those throughout the video and hopefully I, I think I've got some yards uh, where particular areas of the yard, you know, the, the mulching blades are gonna come in handy, you know, having them on the mower. So yeah, it's really just a matter of the yard type and, you know, do you have a wooded area, a natural area that you can blow them into? That's, that's really, that's really when the mulching versus the high lifts come, come into play and which one's better, you know, for leaf cleanups, leaf removal. But anyway, we'll talk about that throughout the video. I'll, you know, it should get some good footage of some various scenarios for the multi blades to be in and the uh, high lifts to be in. I'll just kind of explain, explain which one's better 
for you know that particular yard and that particular area of a property. Now some yards, you know, you may have areas that need that could use a mower, the mulching blades, and some others, you know, you may have a bed you can throw them into or a wood line, that kind of thing. So it just depends on the area of a yard a lot of times, not just the yard itself. But, but anyway, we'll talk about that throughout the video. Uh, get some good footage and talk about some various things other than that too. So hope you're having a good start to the week, guys. God bless you. Talk to you later. Hey guys, about 10 15 now. Yeah, I just got done spraying another yard. Now we're headed to Opelika where I got the majority of the uh, jobs I need to get done today. A lot of spraying I need to do. We'll probably end up mowing another, yeah, seven or eight. So we've mowed, I think, four. We've sprayed four and, uh, you know, did some bushes. Y'all saw me do the bushes there at that job. So that job I mentioned it before, being able, being able to pull up in one truck, you know, the spray rig and all the equipment that I need to trim the bushes and mow and all of that. I mean, I can really generate a lot of revenue in this one truck, obviously I've mentioned before, but yeah, just really good to be able to pull up and be able to do all those things in one yard. So yeah, I ended up doing, yeah, like it says, 235 for that one yard, trimming the bushes. There weren't as many bushes as I thought. So that was good, you know, sprayed it, mowed it. And in the backyard, we didn't have to bring a lot of leaves up uh, to the front for the city to pick up. So that took a little time, but yeah. All in all, off to a good start, like I said, it's about 10, 15, and I've already generated, yeah, $550. Yeah, 550. What is that, about three hours? Yeah, about three hours time, we generated 550. So, yeah, mainly uh, from the spray, and spraying a lot of, is a lot of that. Uh, we've done, I think, 215 of that is spraying, and we've sprayed four. So yeah, $215 revenue for the spray. It doesn't take near as long uh, to spray as it does to mow, typically. Obviously not having the edge, we need all that kind of stuff. So yeah, and actually make a little more money spraying on a typical yard over mowing it as well. So yeah, that's good. Something to consider for sure, guys. If you guys aren't doing uh, treatments and fertilization yet, uh, I've said it before in some other videos, it's just great add-on service. And uh, you're unable to make some money, generate some revenue this time of year when the grass is obviously slowed down. But yeah, really like doing the treatments. I'm gonna try to keep picking up various, uh, you know, as many yards as I can to do the treatments and fertilization for. But it's pretty simple, pretty easy, straightforward, and uh, really profitable. I mentioned before this this particular round. Uh, making more more profit this round. Just go around I did my September uh, treatment round, the first round for the fall. 
I'm not putting near as much uh, pre-emergent, the, uh, the spectacle flow, I'm not putting near as much. So yeah, I'm way more profitable this round than I was last round. I still have it selected in there to knock out even, you know, some weeds that may be there now. Uh, MSM is the name of it. Uh, I have in there in the, in the pre-emergent solution itself. So it'll knock out some broad leaves, that kind of thing. But yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. Hope y'all doing well, guys. Off to a good start. Uh, this next yard, before I forget, I'll just go ahead and let you know what I'm going to do. I've already got it in my head. So the front yard, I'm going to take the mower. And this actually, actually the mower on here now uh, has the high lifts. But there's a way that you can go about doing it to really help mulch, mulch up those leaves. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blow them all in the middle and then I'm gonna back them up. I'm gonna back up, <clears throat> I'm gonna back up the mower uh, going, you know, but yeah, go in reverse onto this pile that I'll have in the middle that I'm gonna blow into the middle of the yard, the front yard. And you'll see it actually does a better job of mulching those leaves up even without the mulching blades, they'll do a really good job of mulching the leaves. If you back up onto the pile instead of going forward. So that's what I'm gonna do, just kind of set it up uh, for what I'll be doing next in terms of my next clip. Yeah, I'll be blowing everything in the middle, then I'll back up on that pile of leaves, and it'll do a better job mulching those leaves up. Just thought I'd let you know before I get started, I'll set you up here in a minute. I'll do you soon. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, Y'all saw me get that clip there. Let me talk about that real quick before I let you know what's going on. Uh, again, I had uh, high lift blades on that mower and you can see how I was backing up on that pile. I'm telling you, it just, it mulches them up better when you back up onto them as opposed to going forward. And you can see once I uh, felt like I mulched them up good enough and I was pushing, you know, some of them to the edge of the property there where we could just blow the leaves. It's kind of as a wood line there on the right side. So before I started mulching them up, yeah, I pushed, you know, some of the thicker uh, areas just with my mower, like I said before, the front of the deck, just pushed them into a pile uh, to that wood line there on the right side. And then I went into mulching them up. So you saw me backing up over them. Then once I, back, once I mulched them up, you know, uh, good enough, then I just kind of spread them out throughout the middle of the yard there. And no one lives there, so I don't have to look perfect. Then we took the uh, the blower and just kind of blew them, blew what was left, you know, around the edges and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's a good way to clean them up there and a good way to use your mower to mulch those leaves up, especially if you don't have mulching blades. So I got mulching blades. I swapped out my laser from one of my newer ones. That's the older one. I have right here, that's one of my older lasers. So I uh, swapped them out of my house now, like I said, my neighborhood, knocking them out. Uh, so I swapped them out, swapped the mowers out for one that has uh, molten blades. So I may get some video of me using it with the molten blades on it so you can see the difference. But yeah, uh, bad news guys, uh, my Walker C19, Justin was using it to mow the back of my neighbor's yard here and it just all of a sudden just, just quit. Not really sure why, but yeah, he was almost done mowing that section of the backyard and just, just quit on them. So yeah, we pushed over here. Uh, it's unfortunate because you know, I mentioned in the, you know another clip that uh, I dropped my navigator off. Uh, the drive belt broke last Friday, so they're fixing that. And now this one, not really sure what's wrong with it. 
Maybe I can figure out, maybe it's just a battery, I don't know, a loose connection, that kind of thing. But yeah, uh, I'm using the, C, the T23 now. I got it on the truck ready to go. So yeah, I mean, that's one reason why you gotta have multiple mowers in a lot of cases. And that's why I've got as many as I do, you just never know. So yeah, I got two out of my three bag of mowers down right now. I like I got the T23 ready to go, even though it does have a, a small leak in one of the tires, but uh, it'll be good for the rest of the day. I don't have to worry about filling it up. I just usually have to fill it up use it the day before the day of just one time and it'll be fine for the rest of the day but yeah anyway yeah we're uh we're gonna knock out one more we're doing these three these three over here i don't know if you can see justin's actually spraying uh three in a row he's spraying them now so he mowed and sprayed all three of them and we'll mow one more and spray another one up the street here and go out and get some lunch but anyway help the good start really having a good day so far Actually, further along than I expected, so yeah, that's good. We're gonna have to try to get a lot of spraying done the rest of the day. A lot of these yards around my house and neighborhood and that area, but anyway, hope you're having a good day, guys. Talk to you soon. It's about 5 30 right now so yeah we got done literally it's a dark you know finished up around a little after five you know it got pretty much pitch dark so yeah i was actually the last 10 15 minutes i've been battening down the hatches all the rain so got all my equipment in here and my uh my shop aka my three-car garage it's a good thing i got a three-car garage because i'll be having an issue fitting all this stuff in a two-car for sure but yeah i mean i could really got i mean no doubt i could use a shop for sure but it's not, you know, you know, it's not necessary, necessary, necessarily necessary, so to speak. I mean, I can get by with what I got, you know, in my house here. But it would be a good thing if, you know, I could get a shop one day. And me and my wife are actually talking about, you know, possibly buying some land, building a house, and just building a shop on the land itself, doing that, and uh, having an area for firewood and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll talk about that. I actually am looking at some land to possibly do that we found uh online a couple days ago so yeah y'all go ahead and make sure to cover my my sprayer up you know the engines whatnot i'll cover it up and take all my equipment off and you know putting there you know put everything inside here just because we're going to be getting a good bit of rain i saw a prediction two to three inches of rain tomorrow so yeah i want to make sure everything's inside if i can uh, do that but anyway yeah it'll be a really good day so yeah i mean we're knocking them out we're doing a lot of you know a fair amount of mowing and spraying i would say after lunch we ended up mowing yeah around eight or nine properties yeah eight yeah around eight and we sprayed probably around 10 or so 
So a lot of the yards that we mow, we also sprayed as well, but there are several that we just sprayed, didn't mow. I still got a good bit to do. I'm hoping to get done this week, but yeah, I was real proud of me and Justin. You know, had a really good day and probably hit it. We did at least 1500, I'm sure. I'm gonna, uh, I'll add up the numbers and put them in the video, but yeah, anytime I mentioned before that 1500, uh, you know, in the summer is kind of my goal, but yeah, 1500 this time of year in the fall, if I can hit that or do more, which I feel like I probably did more than that in terms of revenue, it's a really good day in the fall. One truck, just one guy helping today. So, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'll add it up and put it in the video here shortly after, you know, uh, what I'm saying, you know, so you know, you know I'm actually curious. See how we did overall and money we made. So, yeah, y'all, hey, listen, I got some good footage of the uh, Laser Z with the mulching blade on it. You know, those last few clips. I got a clip of the Walker 223. I don't know if I'll put it on there or not on the video today, but yeah, a few clips of me using the Laser Z with the mulcher, you know, the mulcher blades. Obviously, I don't know what you call, I guess fins, teeth, whatever you call them. Now listen, they do do a good job and they are a lot faster. They're gonna mulch those leaves up a lot quicker. Definitely tell that today. But again, if you back up onto the pile, I know some mower seems to really mulch them up better than if you're going forward. So remember that. Now, again, as I said before, you know you're going to be doing a lot of yards that have wood lines or natural areas, you know, beds, that kind of thing that you can throw the debris into, the leaves into. Go ahead and go with the high lifts. I mean, obviously, you know, whenever you're mowing grass, you know, when the grass is growing, and the high lifts are preferable, definitely for sure. I feel like it just, it does lift that blade up. You know, the airflow is going to be better. It's going to lift that blade. It's going to provide a better cut than the molten blades because just the airflow is not the same with the molten blades on there. But if you're doing yards that you know you got the wood lines and the natural bed areas, go ahead and use those, you know, those high lifts because it's going to sling that debris, sling those leaves a lot better than the uh, molten blades will, for sure, just because of the airflow is so much better. So, yeah, consider that. You know, when you're planning your week, planning your day, you know, you can use different types of blades based on the yards you're going to be doing that particular day or that particular week. You know, so yeah, there's definitely benefits to both. And y'all saw me use the different blade types throughout the video. So yeah, hopefully I'll put a, you know, put a good video together and it'll turn out well. But yeah, definitely impressed with the uh, molten blades for sure. And how they really grind those leaves up. It obviously helps when they're dry. They're going to mulch up a lot better, a lot finer. And a lot of times, I mean, honestly, it just becomes dust. If it's really dry, you know, whatever type of leaf, it's a particular type of leaf, you know, that'll just basically become dust. But if you do back up on it, remember that from this video, back up onto those piles. And y'all saw how much, how much, how quickly those leaves, you know, uh, mulched up and disintegrated. So yeah, yeah, keep that, keep that in mind whenever uh, you got a lot of leaves, if you got the mulching blades on there especially, but you can do it as well with the high lift. So anyway, y'all, hey, listen, I uh, got to get in, get a shower, put this video together. I'm going to watch uh, Auburn play basketball at 8 o'clock. So, yeah, probably leave around 7. I'm going to meet my brother. But, yeah, hope you're having a good week, guys. Hope this video is helpful. Uh, comment, like, all that kind of stuff. You feel free to. Talk to you soon. God bless.